Hello world, in this video I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to set up an online billboard and reach out to people around the world in just a few minutes. That's amazing! Now there are many ways to do this. I'm going to use a place called Wix.com and you, if you go here you could sign up for free with one of these accounts or you can just click this one to sign up. Once you're logged in, you want to go here, and we're going to skip the next couple of screens. Choose Create Your Website with the Editor, Blank Templates, Start from Scratch, we're going to click Edit. Okay, now it's building the billboard. While that's going, I'm going to take a few minutes to contrast online billboards with real billboards that you see on the highway. Real ones, they cost a lot of money to build with all that metal, and they tend to be an eyesore in the surrounding, for the surrounding areas. They cost a lot of money to put your ad on here too as well, and then you've got to schedule that time with other advertisers. And there's limited space. So you gotta have it large enough so cars can see it from far away. With online billboards, you could add a little bit more information without having to worry about space. You could have stuff like special announcements or daily offers that change on a moment's notice because to edit your billboard content on an online billboard takes a, a matter of seconds. You could give your customers a way to pay online by offering a link or something. You could list your store hours. You could give up-to-date contact information. And if that changes, you could change it again in a few seconds. And just build new relationships around the world. All right, the billboard is built. That was fast. How about that compared to a real one? Just a matter of minutes. Okay, all that's left to do for the whole world to see it is hit this publish button. So I'm gonna publish it without any content on there. And this is important. This is called your link. And this is what you would circulate to people for them to type in and see your, see your billboard around the world. This part doesn't change, and yours will be different according to your account, but this part you can change. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to call it My Billboard. It can be anything. Probably no spaces, though, but you might be able to. I already have one. huh? Let me just put a 2 there. I'm going to save and continue. Your site is saved. When you publish, the following will be your domain. So this is your link. They call it a domain. I'm going to publish it. Congratulations. Your site is published and live online. So as you're watching this, type this in. And you should be able to see this next uh, section. A blank billboard. It won't be blank by the time we're finished up with it. But how about that? Here's your link. And here's your billboard. And here's a little bit of advertisement, but that's not so bad for the price of free, right? All right, let's add some content to this empty billboard. One of the easiest ways to do this is to use an image, an image of anything. Let's say you know how to use uh, Microsoft Word. In fact, I have a sample of this. You could take this content, turn it into an image, and upload it to your billboard. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I'm using Windows and there's something called a snipping tool program. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click New and the screen's going to kind of fade a little bit and your cursor is going to turn into a crosshair like this and now you're going to take the mouse and left click and drag a box around what you want to turn into an image. 
And there you have it. This is an image of the Word document. I'm going to save it. It's going to save automatically as an image. I'm going to call it my billboard content. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I can close this now. I can close this if I want to. And then I'm going to go over here to add. And then I'm going to go to image and then my upload images. Now I'm going to go to upload media, upload from computer, and it was on the desktop and here's the image. I open it, I'm going to select it by clicking on it, and then add to page. And there you have it. Now I'm going to publish it again because when you make changes you want to republish. Congratulations. Let's view the site. Remember this is your permanent link. You could put this on a business card because it won't change. There you go. Let's say we wanted to change something on the billboard, like the hours. Let's make it 9 a.m. And we don't want this cursor to show up on it either. This was kind of an accident. Well, we can't change it here because it's an image. But what we can do is re-upload a changed image. So I'm going to go back into Word. I've already changed the hours to 9. I moved the cursor off the screen so it won't be captured. And now I'm adjusting the page so everything can be captured. In. So I open the snipping tool, hit New again, and then select the area to convert to an image. Okay, there's the 9 a.m. and there's no cursor there now, so we're going to save this image. Let's call it Content 2. Okay, so that's saved now. Now we got to go back to the Wix page, go to Add, and upload this image. There was one here before, but I deleted it. But we need to upload the new image. It was called 2. And the different thing here is we're not going to add it to page because there's already one there and we can change it from there. So let's close that, close this, and there's a change image option. So I'm going to, now we can select this and say choose image. So it automatically swaps it, the image with what was there before. Let's see there's our new hours and no cursor there. Now we just have to publish. Congratulations. So now, as you're watching this video, you should see what we're seeing now. This is the finished product. In summary, we used Wix to build the billboard and then create a permanent link to the billboard. So this doesn't change and you could add it to things like your business cards and circulate it. You could even have Google circulate this for you. And then finally we use the snipping tool to add content to the billboard. Basically it's an image tool that just captures parts of the screen and turns it into an image. Thanks for watching this video. Please add your comments below. My goal is to share small ideas that can make a big impact.